Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for November. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am going to take just a quick second, Sagittarius, to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. So if it's not resonating, guys, I suggest you check your other signs and placements and see if your messages could be in those readings. Keep in mind that if it is resonating, that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. So if it is resonating, get in where you fit in. And as always, Sagittarius, please don't force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Sagittarius? All right, Sagittarius, you're starting out with the Five of Cups. You have the Hierophant in reverse and the Three of Wands in the reverse. So it looks like you're going through a period here where there's been an ending of some sort um, Looks, it could be a relationship, it could be something else, but a situation, but I feel like you are in a lot of regret. It's like you don't feel the love in the situation. Um, I feel like you could even be going through a little bit of depression or sadness. Um, there's a sense here of feeling like something just wasn't for you. It's not for you. So let me see who's in your energy. Show me who is in Sagittarius energy, please. Show me who's in Sagittarius in energy, please. I'm, I'm feeling like a sense of discouragement here. All right, so the person in your energy has the Nine of Swords, Two of Wands in the reverse, and the Page of Wands in the reverse. Now, this is somebody who is definitely up in their head. Um, I feel like this person, um, I feel like this person prays. They're, they're praying about something here. Um, it could be about this connection. They definitely are in a state of anxiety. They're experiencing a lot of anxiety. Uh, with the two of wands in the reverse, this is somebody who feels that they weren't chosen or they chose to move in another direction. There could be regrets for that. Um, there's a lack of planning that's leading to anxiety for this person as well. With the page of wands in the reverse, this could be somebody who is a bit immature about their communications, or there could just be a lack of communication as well. Um, let me see the, there's a lot of unhappiness though that is here between the two of you that you're, and you're both experiencing individually. Um, let me see the energy between Sagittarius and this person. The Seven of Pentacles. You're both kind of waiting to see what the other person's gonna do. I do feel like at some point, both of you invested a lot in this connection, but you're you're in this position where, um, and particularly the other person, they're kind of waiting to see what's gonna happen. Um, let me see. And you feel like this person doesn't love you. They don't care for you. What's affecting the connection is the Four of Wands. So there could be a marriage affecting this connection. Let me see um, the outcome. Show me the outcome. Yeah, the tower. So in, there's going to be a tower moment here. Yeah, there's going to be a tower moment. Wow, this looks heavy. This looks like a heavy reading. So, you know, if you're easily triggered, you may want to, you know, turn off the video. But it, it does look like there will be a tower moment. We're going to clarify all of this. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But what I'm seeing here is that there is a lot of love in this situation, but nobody's expressing it. Um, it almost feels like it's too overwhelming somehow. So let's clarify. Spirit wants the Five of Cups here for Sagittarius. The star card and the chariot in the reverse. Yeah, you feel like nothing is moving forward. You're kind of waiting to see what this person's going to do. Um, you are healing. You're balancing out your emotions here. And you're hopeful, but it it seems like you're in this waiting phase, this uh, pause. And you're hopeful, but yet you feel like things not are not moving forward. It's like you're waiting to hear from this person, Sagittarius. Why is the Hierophant? 
try that again. Spirit, why is the Hierophant in the reverse? Why is the Hierophant in reverse for Sagittarius? Ace of Wands and the Empress in the reverse. So some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that's in another connection or in a marriage. Um, because I see for some of you, it doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage. It could be another relationship. But I feel like you feel disrespected by this person. Um, you may feel that they were only involved in this connection with you for sexual reasons. Because there's a sense here of you needing to really go in and examine your self-worth. Examine your, your own um, value here. And I do feel that you're going through a difficult time. I can see that. There's depression. There's a, a sense of uh, a sense of endings and losses here. Um, I do feel like you would like to be with this person. You're hopeful that you can be, but there's uh, there's a this four of wands here right in the center of the reading. So let me see why the three of wands is here in the reverse. I feel like you're tired of waiting for something to happen. Ten of Swords and the World in Reverse. Okay, so there has been a painful ending here. You're questioning whether or not this relationship is even for you because of this. You feel betrayed, basically. But you're still, you still feel that there's unfinished business between the two of you. So let me look at their energy. Spirit, why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here for the person in Sagittarius energy? I feel like you've been trying to avoid a tower moment. Yeah, they weren't giving you an equal give and take. This person, um, there's a little bit of selfish energy here, Sagittarius. This is somebody who really is thinking about what it is that they want. Um, they're, they have a lot of anxiety. They want to be with you, but they do have a little bit of selfish energy and they could actually, a few of them that could be drinking, um, a little bit of drinking in order to deal with their, with what's taking place between the two of you. But this is somebody who was not giving an equal give and take. There's a sense here that they realize that and they realize that they've been selfish. Um, there is a selfish energy here. Why is the Two of Wands in reverse? King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, Sagittarius energy is very strong. So you could be dealing with another Sagittarius. Or it could just be that they're extremely focused on you. Um, this person needs to heal. Their, their emotions and are, are very unbalanced right now. This is somebody who definitely has a very strong um, physical pull towards you. Um, but at the same time, I, I feel like any actions that they've taken towards you have been unbalanced. There's definitely a lack of balance in their life. And there's a lack of balance in their actions towards you. And again, with this four of wands here in the middle, um, there's some sort of a, another connection that may be affecting this. Let me see why the page of wands is here in reverse. Okay. Yeah, so there's a lack of communication. And the reason why... And by the way, this person may may act a little bit spoiled when they don't get their way. This person wants a reconciliation with you, but they know that that's not going to come about as long as they're in toxic energy. That they have to drop the toxic energy in order to reconcile with you. So this is somebody who's not giving an equal give and take. You've been giving more. They know this. They know it's very unbalanced. And they know that they can't approach you with toxic energy. Let me look at uh, the energy between Sagittarius and this person. All right, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Five of Cups. So there's been a lot of problems in this connection. 
You both feel weighted down. You both feel very burdened. You, it's almost like you, you feel that this person is your happiness, right? But at the same time, there's so many problems that are in the way of this, of, of the happiness. You feel stuck. You feel like things aren't moving forward. Um, they're not moving towards that happiness. Um, and it's because there's so many problems. And this is making you feel overwhelmed. Now, in their energy, I do see this person being a bit selfish. They, they may reach out to you. Um, they do have feelings for you. They may realize that, you know, that um, they owe you an apology. So, for some of you, there, there's an apology that may be coming. Um, I do feel that this person finds it problematic to apologize. And I do feel like they're overwhelmed because you would be a new person in their life. They, it's like there's somebody else involved with this person and you're the new person, but it's problematic to bring this together. So let me see. Why is this four of wands here? I've been waiting to see why this is here. All right, we have the strength card. We have the two of swords. So in the reverse, so you've made a decision You've made a decision that you do want to be with this person, but not, not until they end whatever this other connection is. You feel disrespected. You feel like this person is not giving you the title or the position in their life that you deserve. Now, this person does have strong feelings for you. Um, I feel like this person got involved and it was about the passion initially. They weren't giving an equal give and take. This is somebody who can be very selfish. But they didn't realize how strong this connection between you and them was going to be. And I do feel like they developed feelings for you. All right, so let me see your outcome. Show me the outcome for Sagittarius and this person at the end of the week. Show me the outcome between Sagittarius and this person. All right, we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Moon in Reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups reversed. So there's going to be something here revealed. And it's going to cause a tower moment. I do feel like you're feeling like this person has made you an option. And I don't think you like that a lot. I also feel like, Sagittarius, you may have some confusion regarding your feelings for this person. Because you feel betrayed by this person. You feel like on the one hand that this isn't the right path for you. But on the other hand, you don't feel like things are complete between the two of you. So it's almost a sense of this person's not showing you the love that you deserve. They're not giving you the, the position, the, the, the title that you deserve. They're not, they're not nurturing this connection. And so you've pulled back and I do see that, but you, you, there's a sense here of you, Feeling at the same time, why do I even care about this person? Why is there such a, a connection here? Um, and it's causing a bit of confusion for you. But I also feel like you're not going to allow this person to make you an option. Now, in their energy, this person, um, this person definitely, um, they may reveal, some of you may reveal to you an ending that's going to take place. I do feel that. They're having some epiphanies about their own emotions and their lack of giving to this connection. I will tell you this, if they do try to come in, I feel like you're not having it. You're not going to allow this person to make you an option. And this person is a bit selfish. I, I can see it in their energy. They're a little bit selfish. And so they want to bring forward the passion, but they're, they're withholding the love. It is there. The love is there. And they do want to reconcile. I feel like they didn't they didn't realize how much they were going to that they were going to develop feelings. And they did. And they're realizing that. And it's going to cause a tower moment for them. But I do feel like they're going to try to come back in, still making you, you know, an option in their life. And that's going to be problematic. And I don't feel like you're going to go for it. And that's going to cause a tower moment for them. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords. This is underlying energy. And it does show me that there's still healing that needs to take place here. 
It also shows me that um, there's, there's a break that's happened here. And it looks like you just made this decision here, Sagittarius, that you weren't going to allow this person to, to bring you into their energy as an option. So they're going to have to make some decisions. They're either going to come correct or you're not going to have them come at all. So let me see. I'm going to pull oracles. We'll see if anything comes out from the oracle cards for Sagittarius. Yeah, you got a lot coming out. All right, so. Yeah, we have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating. This is a temptation. Third-party interference, see? So, I do feel that um, there, there's definitely been some third-party. I can see it. We have mask, not showing the true feelings, gaslighting. Um, so, this person is not really showing their feelings here and they know they're going to have to. We have unconditional love and attraction, self-love. I feel like you do love this person. And then we have kisses. <laughs> so on your side, and this is also about unconditional love. I feel like you gave this person unconditional love, Sagittarius. I feel like you fell in love with them. I feel like they fell in love with you too, but they're having to come to, they're wearing this false mask. They may come in and try to seduce you as well. But again, I feel like you're not having any of this third-party energy. I, they're going to come correct or, or not at all. It may cause some confusion, though, for you. All right, I hope that this has been helpful. I hope this has given you some insight into the situation between you and this person. If you have resonated with this, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you guys in your next reading, Sagittarius, Namaste.